Hello and welcome to this uh, new video tutorial of Open Web Marketplace USPS by Stats.com. And in the previous video, we showed you the module configuration settings. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you the workflow of this extension. So what we'll be doing is we'll be showing you the customer workflow at the front end, and we'll be showing you how the international shipping and the domestic shipping methods get displayed at the checkout time for the customers to select. So uh, for that, what I will be doing is I'll be uh, taking you to the front end of this extension, and after that, uh, we'll be showing you the workflow uh, as well. And the same applies to the seller's product as well. And uh, when the customer purchases uh, or goes uh, for the checkout with the seller's product, similarly, the international and the domestic shipping methods would be displayed uh, according to the delivery address. Uh, of the customer so if the delivery address of the customer is outside the united states then the international shipping would be displayed and if the delivery address of the customer is uh, uh, of the uh, united states itself then the domestic shipping methods would be displayed to the customer at the checkout time for selection so uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, extension works at the front end uh, for that i'll take you to the uh, open cup web store front end now so here we already have created a product with the name marketplace usps by stamps.com and it's for 100 us dollars so what i'll do is i'll be going ahead and i'll be adding this to the cart so i added this product to the cart and now i'll make a checkout with this uh, particular product and here i'll be selecting my address as uh, the domestic uh, address of the united states uh, and I'll tap the continue button thereafter. So that was the building details. And for the delivery address as well, I'll be selecting Washington and I'll tap the uh, continue button thereafter. Now you can see on the delivery method section, uh, we can see that we have the open cut marketplace with space by stamps. Uh, the uh, methods have been displayed here because this is a dim uh, because uh, the address is of the United States itself or it's a domestic uh, address. So the domestic uh, methods have been displayed, and the customer can select any of these domestic methods for receiving his product at his uh, entered uh, delivery address. So for that, the customer will just continue and. On the payment method, we'll select the preferred payment method and lastly place the order. And after placing the order, the customer can navigate back to his history section and can check the details of this particular placed order and can see the uh, shipping method that the customer has selected. So here you can see that the USPS priority mail has been selected by the customer and under here you, as well you can see the USPS priority mail with the amount in dollars for that particular uh, shipping method. So that was how the uh, customer would be able to uh, place the order using the uh, marketplace USPS by stamps.com uh, method and uh, the uh, seller would also be able to check the same on his end by navigating to uh, to the order history and under that the customer uh, the seller would be able to view the particular order I had to navigate to the wrong uh, section there so I just filtered for uh, today's order and here you can see that the John Doe had placed the uh, order and uh, the product was the same that the marketplace we space by Sam's dot on the product that we had uh, created by this particular seller so the seller can uh, view this by tapping it, the action column under the action column he can tap the view button and here he can see the uh, payment address and the shipping address of the customer and I can also see, see the shipping method that the customer had selected before placing the order so this was how the uh, customer can receive the shipping using the domestic shipping methods now similarly we'll again go back to the product that we have created uh, that's the uh, marketplace USPS by stamps.com and here what we'll be doing this time we'll be selecting uh, the delivery address that's that is outside the United States so that the international shipping methods get displayed to the customer uh, at the uh, checkout time 
so uh, what we'll do is we'll just add the product to the cart and we'll tap the checkout button to make a checkout and under the billing details it depends on whichever address you want to select so what I'll do is I'll just go with the Washington one and then under the delivery details I'll be selecting uh, the address that is uh, outside the United States and I'll tap the continue button thereafter and this would uh, display us the international USPS methods that would be available for uh, receiving the shipping uh, at the selected uh, delivery address so what I'll do is I'll just select the particular international method and tap the continue button and after that we can select the payment method we can confirm this and we can hit the continue and lastly we can double check the USPS first class mail international has been selected that's for 13.78 dollars and we can confirm the order and after that the uh, customer can check the history for his placed order I can see the selected shipping method that's the USPS first class mail international and here he can see the total amount that's applicable for the shipping and similarly the uh, seller would be able to navigate to his order's history section under the marketplace block and there the ad there the seller would be able to uh, filter all the orders that have been placed for today and here we can view the particular order and here you can see that the shipping method was USPS first class mail international for the uh, delivery address that is outside the United States and uh, here we have the uh, details of that as well so uh, that was much about the uh, extension that's the open cart marketplace USPS by stamps.com hope you understood the workflow of this uh, extension so uh, if uh, you have any questions or queries regarding this extension then you can always get back to us and support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.ubs.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead